This is Greg Noyes, uh, Pacific West Home Inspections, and I'm doing a uh, house today in uh, La Puente. And today is uh, Tuesday, uh, July 22nd, and 2014. And I'm going to go over how to shut off the utilities, and then we're going to look at uh, look at the roof. So at the very front of the house, there's a uh, one-inch uh, copper line coming up. That's the proper size we like to see, and they have a gate valve, or a, excuse me, a ball valve, and you just bring it on over and it shuts off the water. And then there's a uh, gate valve next to it, and this feeds your uh, sprinkler system, and so you can shut the sprinklers off. So uh, this house has been repiped. You can see the old uh, uh, galvanized pipe here. Uh, next thing we're gonna look at is the how to shut off the gas and uh, the uh, power. And uh, so give me a chance to get in the back. There's a pit bull, so I'm going to see if I can manage to get back there. So, in the back of the house, and they got a swimming pool, and you see uh, it's green. And the, the uh, plaster needs to be replastered. And uh, we'll take a look at that little here in a little bit. They have an older uh, diving board. And then they also have a junction box uh, deck mounted one. And yeah, we don't like to see these anymore. Uh, the water gets in there and it'll you know, short out and could electrocute someone. And there's no perimeter fence around the, uh, around the pool. The uh, back of the house is your main uh, uh, electrical panel. And they've got a, a special loom around the power cable, so uh, uh, we still like to see them up 22 feet above the pool. So it's a little short, but the loom should uh, help with the grounding of it. So uh, you shouldn't be able to electrocute anybody. The uh, back here, they have a uh, your electrical panel, and you have a 100 amp uh, service. It's this break, breaker here. You push that over there, shuts it off. So, uh, uh, the, uh, there are labeling here, and it should be more distinguishable, the labeling. Uh, they are uh, missing gutters, and I'm going to go around to the other side of the house, and uh, there should be a uh, gas meter over here. So, uh, well, we have... Uh, AC, water heater, and now the gas meter. So the gas meter, uh, to shut this off, the gas meter is on the exterior left side of the house. There's a valve over here. When the tank's up and down, it's on. You turn it 90 degrees, it's off. And so that's how you shut that off. There's some deteriorated uh, stucco here. And it looks like they try to restucco that house uh, and they didn't prep the, uh, the uh, wall correctly. So it needs to be sandblasted and you can do a color coat on it. There's a Whirlpool water heater and this is uh, one you can get at Lowe's. It's 07, so it's uh, 7 years old and it's a 40 gallon. A couple things wrong here, it's got a short vent needs to go above the roof line, two feet above, and uh, this is a pressure relief valve here, and needs a drain line coming down. No seismic straps, and the gas uh, connector needs a sediment trap, so there needs to be work done to that. You have a, a MANA condenser, AC condenser, and we'll see if it's attached. Nope, it's not attached. And, uh, and, uh, and then we'll do some uh, uh, testing inside the house. Again, you got the uh, short vent, the water heater, and I'm going to go on the roof next, and we'll find the uh, satellite dish on top there. So, next thing we're going to do is the roof inspection. So, I want to. Here's the biggest. Uh, water dog bowl in town here. I'm going to follow my uh, buddy here and we'll go to the front of the house. 
Come on, let's go uh, get some shade here. So I'm about ready to get on the roof. Uh, this is a composition shingle roof. And it's probably about uh, eight years old. The ridge cap doesn't look like it's deteriorated yet. As you can see here, there's some deterioration of the shingles and along the edges and on the field. And uh, so it could be a little older. So once I get it on top, I'll have a better uh, understanding about the age. And your attic, you have a uh, ventilator, ventilation. And you have here, this chimney is not a masonry one, it's a frame chimney. So the original chimney may have come down during the earthquake. So I'm gonna get on top of the roof now. So we're on the top of the roof and you can see the, the ridge cap uh, starting to get deteriorated. So I have a feeling that, the, that you're about a 10 year old roof and you can see uh, the base material deteriorated here and along the edges. And then at the very top, uh, there's minor deterioration on the ridge cap. So if you can, once the ridge cap uh, gets damaged, you can replace that and then usually get another, on this for five or six more years out of it. Um, but the, uh, with the winds and all, uh, these shingles are, are rigid and they may start breaking. Uh, it's your chimney here and uh, the, uh, it's a frame chimney and with a metal flue inside. And I'm going to bring the camera around and the video over your garage area. You can see they have a whirly bird uh, ventilator so that helps a lot. And here you've got a uh, the pool with no perimeter fencing. Three uh, satellite dishes and you have a skylight and a couple additional uh, whirly birds here. So that's what you have on your roof. So you can see your pump's leaking water here. It's like a seal is still broken. And the pool's green since I had a pumping. And your uh, drain is missing some parts you know, at the weir. And over here, uh, they just get doing a little bit of pumping action by looking at the gauge. But uh, you got some definite problems with this motor here. Oh. And your pipe is an uh, inch and a half and it drops down to one inch. So uh, you got different sized pipes and that, that's not a proper way of doing things.